I have been using cable internet for years. Theoretically, it should be very reliable, but in my case, almost every month, there were outages. Another thing I hate the most is the pricing game. Every several months, they chose to raise the rate for my plan. Then I had to call them, threatening to cancel the service. Then they will lower the rate. The same thing will happen again, 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 multiple times every year. I'm so tired of the game. So when I saw the T-Mobile's promotion for Black Friday for their 5G home internet, I didn't hesitate. Decided to jump the ship immediately. Here it is, the T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway. You can power it using the provided power brick. There are two RJ45 parts. It's interesting. I will try to see whether it can provide internet services to two different unified gateways. However, I got a first stopper right after booting it, the SIM card error. Then I wasted half of my Black Friday just to troubleshoot this issue. And it turned out there was no issue because the symptom simply didn't appear when I was in the store. What a nice way to spend my Black Friday. I decide to measure the signal strength at different locations. I use a temporary mobile solution. So I have a inverter attached to a battery to provide power to the gateway. However, no matter how hard I tried, the signal strength indicator on the gateway just refused to change. Even I put it outside of the house, it's the same situation. So I decided to simply put it in my server room. This is the connection quality I can get in my house. It's only very good, never reached excellent. I don't need the Wi-Fi. As you can see, there's very strong Wi-Fi signal from this gateway. Go to the T-Momo's app. Unfortunately, the cell phone's screen capture didn't capture anything. But what I saw was a option to hide the SSID. Hide means you just cannot see the SSID, but the device will still broadcast the wireless signal, right? However, from the tour, I cannot see it anymore, which means the device, in fact, disabled the Wi-Fi instead of just hide it, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. This is my lab environment. I have a Ubiquiti UXG Pro as the router. It has two one parts. I already connected the cable internet to the part three, which is the primary one part and then connect the new 5G home internet gateway to the secondary one part. So as you can see, they are both showing active. And for load balancing, I configure it to fail over only, which means my network will only use the cable internet. And for this video, just to compare the internet speed for the two internet connections, I set up the policy based routing. Let me show you. Go to settings, routing. Under the policy based routes, I have two routes set up. For VLAN 10, I set it to go through the new 5G home internet. And for VLAN 20, I set it to go with the existing cable internet. In the lower part of the screen, I can compare the speed side by side. From the two client machines, let me start the command line based speed testing. Start, start. As you can see, the right side, which is for cable internet, the download speed is 500, upload 20 megabits. And for the new 5G home internet, the download is close to 300, the upload is 13 something. Another noticeable difference is about the latency. During idle time, the cable internet has much less latency. And for download, my cable internet has a very high latency. 
latency, but for upload, the 5G home internet has higher latency. When it comes to network speed, for cable internet, one of the benefits is the speed is very consistent across the day. Now I'm testing it during Saturday noon. My cable internet has exactly what I subscribed speed, but for the 5G home internet, it has slightly slower speed than the advertised maximum speed. This is the speed test result for early this morning. You can see the download speed for the 5G home internet was even slower, but the upload speed was much faster. And this is for yesterday evening. You can see the 5G home internet speed was almost the same as early this morning. As the last part of the video, let me test whether the 5G home internet gateway can feed internet service to two different network environments. You may know T-Mobile 5G home internet utilizes CGNet. So from the gateway side, you have no way to disable that. Even though this gateway has two ethernet parts, I believe they are simply unmanaged switch. I should be able to connect two different networks using these two parts. Let me test it out. So I have two Unify gateways, UDM Pro and UXG Pro. I will connect the one part of each Unify gateway to the RJ45 part of the T-Mobile home internet gateway. By the way, you can see the IP address here, right? That's the subnet hard-coded in the gateway. You have no way to change it. On the screen, I show you the two Unify network controllers. The left one is for UDM Pro, the right one for UX3 Pro. For both Unify gateways, you can see I already connected the T-Mobile's 5G home internet and they are both active. They both work. I won't waste your time showing the connectivity settings, but yes, the one single 5G home internet gateway can provide services to two to totally separate networks. Before ending this video, let me summarize what I like and what I don't like about the T-Mobile 5G home internet. First, about speed. For download, it has slower speed than my cable internet, but I can live with that. The good thing is the upload speed is doubled sometimes during the day, which is what I really like. Then it can provide internet services to two different networks, super good. And a good surprise to me is I can completely disable the Wi-Fi from the T-Mobile gateway. There are two things I dislike the most. First, the way the T-Mobile home internet works is using CGNet. It's used by ISP to provide IPv4 services by using NET. You have no way to change it. So that's why here from the Unify network controller, you can see the IP address I got from the T-Mobile gateway is a private IP address. Then that means in your home network, for sure, you will have double NET situation. So the second thing is T-Mobile hard-coded the subnet for the gateway management and the allocated IPv4 address by using this 192.168.12 subnet. If you don't use this subnet in your home network, you are fine. But to me, unfortunately, I did have a VLAN 12 and it was using the exact same subnet. So which means I had to change my VLAN setting so that this VLAN could use different subnet. Then I can successfully connect to the T-Mobile home internet gateway to get internet service. This should be a very easy fix from T-Mobile side. For example, to customize the subnet, but for some reason, they still leave it in this way. It's annoying but not a showstopper. If you wonder why I don't try fiber internet, unfortunately, AT&T fiber is not available in my area. So in general, so far, after one day of usage, I'm pretty satisfied with this 5G home internet. I will give it a week 
if everything goes okay, I will call my cable internet service provider to really cancel the service instead of just pretending to cancel it. Okay, thanks for watching.